Joining us tonight, tomorrow marks the beginning of the trial for Chad Daybell. In the 2019 murders of his wife, Lori Vallow Daybell's two children, JJ and Tylee, and Chad's late wife, Tammy. Yeah, Chad's trial comes one year after Lori, which for her ended with life in prison without parole. New specialist Lauren Steinbrecher is in Boise, Idaho for the trial to explain what could make Chad's trial much different. Nearly one year after Lori Vallow Daybell was found guilty here at the Ada County Courthouse, Chad Daybell will take his turn in front of jurors. And here's how this trial could play out. For two trials similar in accusations, evidence, the prosecution's witness list approach, what unfolds in the coming weeks for Chad Daybell will still carry dramatic differences because of the death penalty potential as he faces charges of conspiracy and murder for J.J. Vallow, Tylee Ryan, and Tammy Daybell, and insurance fraud for Tammy. Is Lori Noreen Vallow not guilty or guilty of first-degree murder? Answer, guilty. The death penalty wasn't an option in Lori Vallow Daybell's trial. KSL legal analyst Greg Scordis. I've prosecuted and defended death penalty cases. Says everything will take longer, like jury selection, which could last two weeks instead of one. You have to have jurors who are willing to follow the law as it relates to the death penalty. You can't have a juror who doesn't believe in the death penalty. Scordis says prosecutors will likely spend additional time presenting their case than they did in Lori's trial and more thoroughly, especially with Chad facing the additional first degree murder charge for Tammy. In a death penalty case, a capital case, they could just leave no stone unturned and they've got to show the jury everything they've got. Lori's defense attorneys didn't call any witnesses. Chad's attorney has indicated he will. That's one of the significant differences is that Chad has much more likelihood of putting on a, a defense, including witnesses and experts and, and evidence. If the jury comes down with a guilty verdict, Scordis says the trial would enter a second penalty phase, spending weeks examining Chad as a person. So things that are not admissible in terms of his guilt, that is his character, his prior reputation, good things he's done in life, bad things he's done. The jury of 12 potentially then deciding if death is the proper punishment. Jury selection begins tomorrow morning. We are here in Boise. I will be in that courtroom tomorrow, and we will continue our coverage on air and on the KSL Plus app. In Boise, Idaho, Lauren Steinbrecher, KSL 5 News. Thanks a lot, Lauren. As Lauren said, the trial begins tomorrow with jury selection. We'll have our team of reporters in the courtroom there and bring you the latest from Idaho. You can also watch a trial of Chad Daybell in its entirety, streaming on the KSL Plus app. You can get that now by scanning the QR code on your screen you see right there.